Not long ago, friends and fans gathered to pay their final respects to one of the most unlikely celebrities in sport, Zippy Chippy. Zippy loved being a racehorse. He just wasn't very good at it. And farcical as it may look. He's going to live forever in my heart. Unofficial Zippy fan club president Roseanne Frieri says this memorial is hardly horseplay. It could be a joke to some people, but the, the people that know the real story about Zippy, they're heartbroken. Zippy Chippy was born into a racing royal family. He's the grandson of Kentucky Derby winner Northern Dancer. Northern Dancer gets it. And Zippy, too, could have been one of the all-time greats. If only, at the start of every race, he just would have started. They're off and dwelling in the gate is Zippy Chippy. Zippy never quite understood why everybody was in such a rush. He lost every race he was in, 0 for 100. Zippy Chippy finishes last. 101 if you count the time he lost to a minor league baseball player. That cemented his reputation as the losingest racehorse in history. This is Zippy back in 2000 with his owner and faithful companion, Felix Monserrati. Felix died a few years ago, mm. but he never gave up on this horse. Sleep is like my son. I like him a lot. And every time he run, he, he made me feel good. Zippy lived out the last leg of his life here at the Old Friends at Cabin Creek Retirement Farm in upstate New York. He died last month at the age of 31 and is now being celebrated, finally, as the winner that he was. He was love. We'll miss him. Not a single person even mentioned his racing record. Quite to the contrary. In a sport that winning is everything, Zippy taught us that losing is a normal thing. Do you think people see themselves in Zippy a little oh, bit? Oh yeah, I think we all see ourselves in Zippy because it was always on Zippy's terms. Whatever Zippy wanted, Zippy did. At the Kentucky Derby, all that matters is speed. But Zippy reminds us there's more to life than running for the roses, that sometimes it's better to just stop and smell them.